What's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be going over, I believe it's the sixth product research method in this uh, free course. So if you guys haven't checked out the course yet, make sure you check it out. The whole playlist is on my channel. So take a look if you're interested in learning everything from Amazon or everything on Amazon from start to finish completely for free. Let's just hop into the computer here and I'll show you what this page is all about. So not a lot of people know about this page. It was just recently released to the public and basically it's for Canada, United States and Mexico, all of these different countries, Amazon websites, and it allows you to see the top, th top 10,000 selling products per category. So I'm just gonna show you guys an example here on the United States website. I'm doing this completely live so you guys will see how I do things and you can learn from this. So first of all, I'm on the United States because I think that's the highest, well, it is the highest selling Amazon website and the most sales volume, most demand, and I recommend it for new sellers because there's more opportunity to make money at the moment if you're looking short term. If you're looking long term, of course, you can look at Canada and Mexico as well. But I'm just gonna choose a category that I've already recommended to you guys in an earlier video. So I'm gonna choose um, lawn and garden. And it's gonna download this Excel file. So when you pull it up, it'll actually look exactly like this. And I've already opened up these columns so you can read them better, because otherwise they all come squished together. But you can see that it offers you a lot of information, like category, subcategory, ASIN, and all of this. So first we're just gonna go over to max price and we're gonna narrow the price down. So in the options, you can change it to uh, less than, so the max price we, do, we want everything, probably let's say less than $56. I just chose a bit of a random number, but we want to still be in that impulse buy range. So usually under $50, but maybe a little bit over. So I just chose $56. And I'm not really sure why there's two max price columns, but I'm gonna do the same thing in this one. So less than $56 as well. Oops, $56. And just close that. And then minimum price, we want anything really close to $20. So I'm gonna say minimum anything over anything over um, greater than $17. And I'm gonna do the same thing here, greater than 17. And now we're gonna close this. And now it's sorted all of them out so you can see on the left side here, it's removed a lot of the listings that we were, that we were seeing before. So now you can see the numbers skip. So it's narrowed it down quite a bit. And then we also wanna look at reviews, so. Uh, customer app, let's just open these up. Customer review count, so we wanna just check anything. Let's just go with less than 51 reviews, so from 50 and below. And we'll just take a look and see what we can find. So of course you can play around with these numbers a bit, but that's generally sort of what we're looking for with our jungle scale criteria. So we just did the same thing here, and then later once we find a product here, we'll run it on jungle scale and see what we can find. Let's take a look on the list so we can go to the item actual name and this will give us a brief description of what it is. It is kind of annoying to have to look through all of these uh, like just he text heavy um, cells, but it is worth it if you find a good product. So I'll just run down the list. Some of these are Halloween. I know I don't want seasonal products. Um, trick or treat. So any of these, we could just try finding the keyword in them and just running these on directly on Amazon. Like I already, uh, let's try, so we see this one here. I don't even believe this is a lawn and garden product, but why not search it and see what we can find? Even if it's not in the right category, it might still be a good product. So this one is called the Warm White Light Bottle Lights. So I think this, I've heard of this before, Wine Bottle Lights. So let's take that keyword right here, um, we could go white, or let's just go wine bottle lights. So it's gonna copy that word and then take it over to Amazon and just put it in the search bar. Actually, I'll just type it out, see if anything comes up. Wine bottle opener, wine, wine bottle lights, second keyword for when you search wine bottle. So let's run that. And you can see these are, yeah, these are pretty much all of the same types of product. Let's run Jungle Scout on this. Do a little drop down. And yeah, so you can see the price point. Let's see, what, um, it does look a little bit low. 
see this guy right here is the $22. So he's pretty, let's see what he's doing if it's something different. Okay, so that's actually a different product, but look, he's $18.99. Yeah, $18.99, that does work. Like that's in our price range, just a little bit on the low end, but still very workable. Uh, same, oh, this is a little bit different as well. But we want to check out all these products and see what's different and make sure that they're sort of aligning and they're similar products. And then we want to check the stats on them. So we can see like for these ones, the revenue looks good. Reviews for this one, 160, it's high, but it's not too bad, especially considering the guy making 10,000 right after him is only has 83 reviews. Their price is a bit low, um, $10 and $11. I wouldn't recommend going after those, but maybe we could even look into these, it looks like cork lights or something like that and see what those products are offering. But overall, we see that there are sales coming through here, pretty consistent revenue. It does, actually it still continues onto the second page as well. So what we'd wanna do now is check our Jungle Scout criteria and then do the, go through the rest of the steps, which include trademarks, patent check, all that seasonality. But that's how you can use this list to find products that not a lot of people are finding because they don't know about this list. So the, list, uh, the link for this list will be the first link in the description. If you guys want to check out my Facebook group, I'll be sharing more tools in there. And I'll also be giving you guys uh, access to my templates for future videos. So please hit that notification bell if you haven't subscribed already. And I think the next video in this channel is probably going to be about um, checking trademarks and patents or seasonality, something like that. So stay tuned for that one. It's super important once you find a good product. I hope you guys have enjoyed these product research videos. I'm sure I'll be uploading more in the future that are just not directly uh, in this course. But make sure you subscribe so you know when those are coming out. And thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to message me on Instagram. My link for that is in the description as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.